Okay, being black folks, and basically the first footage we're going to be looking at is coming from this date and time, okay? And Paul Cruz. Now, some people have a theory that basically Harp is doing this, and I basically, it's a theory that people have, okay? I'm not trying to discount that theory, okay? I always keep all options open, but the, the, pretty much the majority, this should be a star or stars, which are, you know, four to 70 four to 78 times the size of the sun so and basically with the icy surface we get a reflective a reflective uh, natural telescope from out in space okay so I got the magnifier out because what we're gonna do is blow in on this and this is not this is actually from the webcam and we're gonna have way more than this so let's hurry up and get in on this at 888 we'll pop in here and so you realize why well, I always have to do this and you have to put up with the because you have to know that I'm actually zooming in on this now, I've got pictures that are going to be, they'll have a, a lesser pixel rate. So, now I can get in on these. Now, the stars that are, there's, who knows, trillions of stars between this light, which is coming off these suns, these super giant stars, okay? And basically, since I'm at 888, I'll keep cruising through here because I can use the pointer to point real fast, okay? And you, you, you don't, I don't even need to point what you're seeing as we come along. Now you can also see huge objects coming through all that light in the shadows that are all the way between the, the huge distances. And we'll get into that on the Super Giants in some more video. But I'm going to show you all the photos to make you realize that this stuff is all real. And in 15 minutes it's hard to get everything locked in. Now the other video showed you that we're finding this stuff. It even has a daytime shot. So you really need to go watch the video before this one that it loaded up before. And basically, uh, I'll have the name for that one in a little bit. I already have it on it, but now what we're going to do is we'll start zooming in on this. And you're going to see that you can see all the stars that are between these stars that are huge in the supergiants that are have the big, the big flashlight. That's the best way to, just like a movie projector or a flashlight. But there's the stars that keep on that are in front of it so then it gets magnified even more so then we end up with a you know a huge magnifier and I actually even have my magnifier up because I'm magnifying in on these stars that are between this super giant huge star that's that's it huge distance in space but but close enough that there it's outside our solar system uh, it's in the super giants main sequence a lot of these stars are and then they when they get magnified together with other stars then you get the energy that we're getting down here on earth now I think I can keep on moving left and get another one actually I was far enough to left now I think I can go right but when I'm zoomed in I'm only going to get what we have in the shot so I've got to come down and I'll basically show you what I'm doing I'll come out of the magnifier and then what I've got to do is come all the way out of the magnifier. Okay, so I'll click the magnifier gone, and then I'll slide it along, then we'll zoom in on another one, okay? And it's more than one star, and as you can count right now, at this one we had one, two, three, four, and then it gets kind of, because you know this one's huge. We can just count this as one. This must be one of the ones that's like 78 times the size of the sun. Okay, and yes, they're in alignment out there in space. Tons of the supergiant stars are in alignment out there. That's why you get stars going bling, 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 and that's why we get the bling, bling that I showed you even in the last video before this one. Okay, and I'll have the name at the very end of this video, and I'm not trying to capture you. I just, I, I come, I, this stuff's coming so fast that I just have to, and then let's zoom in on this one real fast. We'll get the zoom out and then this, and then we're gonna hurry up and go to a bunch more footage that I, what I can show you is uh, lower resolution because it's pixels. Because when I save the pictures off of the webcams, then you don't get as good of resolution. And then you see all these stars that are trapped in the light curvature from these super giants stars that are huge, that are four to 78 times the size of the sun out in space. 
and then I'll take out of this and then you, you see basically so you get a good idea of what we're getting down here on earth and it takes many years for this light to get here okay and then that's either you take your guess is that just one huge star or is that uh, and then we can look at the magnifier and you're gonna see that all the stars between that star get magnified even more if you see that there's stars but the the big star is what you're seeing the big orangish yellowish from the whole size of that you see and then you see stars there that are, and you can't miss stars when we zoom in with the zoomer you can see it at the right resolution okay and then we're over at this one and then i'll take the zoom and we'll pop back and i think i was already at, zoomed in on this one we'll just zoom in real fast Okay, so super giant stars, which are huge, four to 78 times the size of the sun. And remember there's an object in space that's 747 times the size of the sun. Pretty much why they came out with the 747 for Boeing. They've known about it. So basically Boeing's probably never gonna admit to that it was named after a star, something that's huge. It's basically, it's not really known if it's a star or not. It's just the hugest object that we've ever seen in space. It's 740 times 747 times the size of the sun. Okay, and then IE, they call the 747 the big plane, and now they got the 757, seven, okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, so whatever. Whether it was the, really the reason they call it 747, they're gonna say it was the 747th model, and then that's fine. But no matter what, there is an object in space that's 747 times the size of the sun. Okay, so I'll come down in size on this shot a little bit. And this is what we've got saved from off of the webcams up here at Alaska. And let's go to some more shots. Now this one's one that's gonna be featured for a while because hotty holy f hockey fact, fact, being all black, okay? Just being, well, you know, whatever. We can't cuss on the internet, right? We don't want to, right? We're gonna be, so hotty hotty. Hotty holy hockey fact, fact, being all black. That one's gonna show you what we got going down at the South Pole. Okay, so now let's get some more of what we got going on at the North Pole with this basically being a mother mother nature's Hubble telescope, okay? Now I blow in on this footage here and you're gonna have to go watch hottie, not hyperbolic stars being all black, okay? But there's a possibility that this could be hyperbolic stars. Now I'm not blown in yet, you'll watch that video and you'll be able to see these stars along here that they're the same stars that we're seeing that we we're looking at all this footage, okay? Because basically I'll pop up all these shots here, okay? We're gonna go through these. And I can zoom in with the zoomer, but you'll see that the digital, and then basically you see this is March 6th, okay? And we got different dates that we're going to have here. And there's going to be different formations of these stars and so forth and so on out there, okay? So I can get in on like this, and you can still see that we have our pixel right, and then we'll pull up the magnifier. But when I get, when I'm at this resolution, and it's just because of the resolution of the software, when I capture the pictures, okay? But as you can see, when you go back to the original, just back up the video to what I was just showing you blown up, and you can get a better, so basically what but what this does help us see, now when we scoot along here, we're gonna be able to see that the, and as you see that there's basically possibly a smaller star that's doing, coming through and getting that blotch there that's giving these stars. Now, there is the slight possibility of hyperbolic star, and then, but this, all these possibilities end up knocking the, uh, the ability of, HARP can make a cloud, okay? They can propagate this, but they don't have enough energy yet. They haven't controlled enough energy man-made because they need man-made energy first. And basically, the factual that these are super giant stars. Now, they're all in a row very straight and even, and then that would make somebody start arguing, well, then the idea, then, 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 it's, then it's a harp. Now, harp can do this. Man can create uh, through frequencies, and I'm not gonna get into too much of harp. You, we can look up, as a matter of fact, just go to Dutch Sense. He's got tons of the actual government data on it, okay? But these are basically super giant stars that are pretty much in alignment out in space and then on this one you can see that there actually are some stars that are out in space that are pretty close together at a massive distance but then even there's a mass of a distance between uh, I can't really point but as you can see there's a shadow between the left hand side there's two shadows in the middle of these shots okay so basically you've got at least three huge stars 
and all those tiny stars that I was zoomed in on earlier back up the footage. But when I'm at this resolution, by saving it on the pictures, you can't see the stars. You can't see them. Okay, and then I play the zoomer in and out, and then basically you could get a normal. And as you can see over here, there's actually it does somewhat. Uh, this is a small star, smaller one. It's a smaller one of all these that are in a line, and we got one, two, and as you can see, they're in a line, and they are different sizes, and they're not center-wise. They are, but there there's massive distances. We're so safe. That's what I have to make everybody realize. We're so doggone safe because this stuff is so hella far out. Now we'll zoom in with the zoomer and pull over on that, but like when I say, as soon as I pull the zoomer out, I see I won't be able to point where the poop. I can point right now, but once I pull the zoom out here and start zooming in, I think I actually was screwed up there. I'm not sure. We're not gonna know until it plays back of what we have for what we're seeing. So I'll try not to point, but as you can see on the lower side of this shot, that there's actually a one star or two stars below what is either one or two stars, which is huge at the very end. Way the heck off out in space. And like I say, go back to the beginning of the, the video, and I had the good resolution, and I might even get more time on resolution, because what I'll do is I'll try to go ahead on one other video and go in on some other footage and, and suck in so that you see that those white parts that you're seeing, those are stars that are between these huge stars that are in the supergiants that are way the hell out. We have huge astronomical distances that we're talking here. And like I say, there's basically a star, even right there, way out, there's a tinier, small supergiant star that's basically doing the one to the right where you kind of see the brightness of that patch there. And then we have that there. And basically it makes this actual fact that this is not harp because the idea that this is all propagated up way high beyond above all these stars that are in between the supergiant stars and the stars that are above us that are astronomical distances, okay? So the huge, the bigger stars way the hell out in the supergiants that are basically giving you all this. And like I say, on this one here to the right, all the way on the lower, there's a smaller star of the supergiants that's below that huge supergiant star there. And yes, they all are in a row, and I'll get more on the super giants and showing you that stuff in the future videos. And I've had it in ton of my, tons of my videos. Anybody that's been watching my videos for a long time knows it and has seen that. Now we'll pop up some more pictures that we have. This is an important one here because what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on this, and you'll see because I should be able to get a real good resolution shot of this and go back to that. And what we have is we have this star here. I'll pull the magnifier out. This was footage that was back on, and basically, once I get the magnifier, I will pump in and go to left. We should be able to get that star right there. As you can see the pixels, you see? See, I had you sucked in on that, and then we'll suck in on this too here. And basically, I can zoom up a little bit, and we will move around, and then we'll get in on this star, pull the magnifier out. And then this is going to be old footage. We'll come up to the date here in a second as soon as we wait for the slow-ass software. And there you go, and then we'll come back out. So it's all believed scientific fact that this will make everybody understand more that it's not when someone tries to tell you their brain. So you gotta watch out for people's brainwash trying to make you think that it's harp. okay? It's called brainwash. People are trying to brainwash and you're thinking that it's harp. okay? Harp can be done, it can create weather and everything like that, but these are stars that are out in space that are huge. You see the dark triangulation, and physicists and nu uh, nuclear and astronomers, I've figured it out. I've got the black light figured out from space. It's the distance that you're looking at, and there's secrets to it. And basically you're seeing some of it right there. Black light, the triangulation, everything like that of this star. But I'm lucky again that they're up there close to it. And I can go 999 also here really fast. And it's all actual factual. This is stars that are way the hell off out in space. We'll get the magnifier out too and look at this stuff. And you can see the stars, you can see the bright side of it there. And then the dark side. So it's stars, hyperbolic stars. We got the magnifier and we can get in on even more. And you'll start seeing the stars. Way more than one star because they know about it. They just, the physicists try not to. You can see it here on Earth, and basically from all the massive distances, you got the star way up there, and all these the stars that we're showing you from the supergiants, and then the idea that there's dark objects in between those stars, and 
a light curvature all the way down here to earth so that you end up getting some black nodes okay ie this so let me save some tape thanks to the zoom software and you can see that star right there